All right, guys, in this video, we're going to do quite a few different things, actually. So this is the promise of part two of the fish room tour that I did. And obviously, the expectation around that part two that I was going to do an update on the L24. Now, the L24 is not with me anymore. It's not died. It's gone back to Tropco. So I bought the L24 from Tropco and the fish arrived in a really bad way okay so it didn't arrive good at all i have never seen anything arrive like that before but anyway it didn't arrive good i had this obviously then after sales situation with Tropco, which went on for a couple of weeks within the end was agreeing to me sending the fish back so i had to actually ship the fish back to them and then they refunded my money so at the end of the journey, we're both happy. So they get the fish back, which is still alive, and I got my refund. So that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. I won't be using them again, but there is no actual visual update on the L24 guys because I've sent it back. So obviously I got my refund, and I decided to take a trip to Pear Aquatics, which I should have done in the first place. I usually get my plecos from Pear. I, I get, 95% of my plecos from Pear. It's just that with this L24, it was on sale and it was quite cheap. So I took the risk, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. So I got my refund and I went to Pear Aquatics. That's gonna come later in the video. So I am gonna show you some footage of their big, huge plecos that they had there. And then I bought two, two new plecos from Pear Aquatics, which I'll show you later in the video. But as I said, it was gonna be part two of the fish room. I am gonna do an update on Trigger's tank and the Bumblebee Oscar's tank, just because I have skated them, guys. So eventually, I have skated, after four months, skated Trigger's tank, and I've done some good stuff in the Oscar tank. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna show you those two tanks, and then we'll go and look at the footage of Pear Aquatics and what I got, so let's go and do it. So we did some upgrading on Trigger's tank. How much better does that look? It's only took me four months to sort it out. And it looks absolutely stunning. In fact, it's amazing what a bit of substrate, a few rocks and a pot can do in it to make a difference. So absolutely made up. And it has taken me a long time. I was in that lazy mode. I've admitted it. And I was thinking, I'm going to change the tank. I'm going to change the tank. But four months in i've still not changed the tank and it's down the, down the priority ladder so i just thought you know what let's just get the tank changed up so it's looking miles better he loves it obviously but i guess he's not bothered either way but it just looks better on the eye it looks fantastic yeah so that's trigger's tank and he is looking good we are going to go and check out the South American Cichlid tank now, guys. And I've done a little a few changes to that as well. Worked on the scape on that as well. So let's go and check that out. So this is the South American Cichlid tank. And I am loving this setup at the moment. Big shout out to Jacob at JW Tanks, who gave me the idea of those plants. So I got those two plants from the range and I'd seen Jacob do it. So... I've mentioned Jacob loads of times on here, JW Tank, see him on Instagram. I saw him do it and he should be on commission because there's quite a few people using these now. And this is the tank, obviously, that the L24 was in. So I bought that cave on the left and I bought the wood and I changed the scape up to suit the new fish coming in. But obviously, all that's changed, which I've obviously mentioned in the intro. The new, one of the new plecos is in here, which you will see later on in the video. Now you can't see him because he's just behind that piece of wood. So you can't see him, but I will show you him when we move on in the video. But I don't know guys, tell me what you think, but I think this tank is phenomenal. I love it. There is a bit of a bacterial bloom on it at the moment, which is clearing up. So always just takes the edge off having a bacterial bloom. Not if you ever had one. The way I deal with a bacterial bloom, for anybody that's interested, I just leave it. I basically leave it to clear up 
on its own. So I think mine came when I added the sand and I was doing water changes after the sand. And it was if you do that with a bacteria bacteria bloom, it just makes it worse. So you've just got to leave it, let it clear up. And it was really bad. This has really cleared up. Still probably a couple of days left in this to clear up. But how good does it look? The two Oscars are beautiful. The Waru is beautiful. That, that in Arena Sev is fantastic. And that Parrot Cichlid is coming on a tree. And the Rio Guapo Severin, which is on the right. And then the new Pleco that you've not seen yet, but you will be seeing in this video. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to, I'm going to show you some footage of some of the big Plecos in pair now. And then I'll show you what I got from pair. So let's do it. Okay, so I did head over to pair, but I am suffering from a pretty bad knee injury at the moment. So it wasn't easy getting about. So basically what I did was I just filmed some of the bigger Plecos because obviously I was having a look for... I, I pretty much knew what plecos I was going for, but I just had to show you these absolute beasts. Now, the plecos that I'm showing in this video, actually, you just they're much bigger when you see them. And this is what pair are famous for. They get the big, huge plecos in there. So just thought I'd catch you some of the footage. So what I did was basically went in, ordered mine with Rachel got this footage and I had to go get back in the car. So Joe actually sorted out, paid for them and collected them from the guys at pay. So what I'll do guys is I'll, I will go back and I think, I don't think I can ever show you enough footage in this place because it is phenomenal. But yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the bigger stuff. And you know, if you watch my energy video, I talked about we need to be using the local fish shops and, you know, if we are spending money, making sure we don't spend it on Amazon or anything like that, any of those big companies, we need to be giving it to the fish shops. And it's more than just pay, and I know I mentioned Burton Ernie's, there's a few, but you know what, I tend to try and share the love in as many shops as I can, but I do have my favourites, and you know that pay is one of those favourites, obviously Wharf as well, and I will be heading over to Wharf uh, in December as well, so that will be a nice little trip for us and I'll try and get some footage while I'm there. But yeah, this is just some of the big plecos that we're in. So anyway, what did I get? Let me show you what I got. So the first one I got was this little L167, which is Ipostomus Weberi. Absolutely beautiful fish. Absolute stunning. And I was doing my research, obviously, on Pears website. And I was talking to my mate, John, a lot, who's a, who's a big Pleco keeper. He knows his stuff. He's my go-to person. Um, we talked about this one. And then, obviously, he recommended it to me. And then when I got there, I'd already, I already had my mind to get it. So I got it. It's going to grow to about eight inches. Right now, it's round about, I would say, four, four, four to four and a half inches, maybe. Um, but it's a stunning pleco and for now it's just in with the albino angels until I get the upgrade on the South American tank. I, just, I don't want to put too much in that South American tank, obviously, because the, the fish are growing, basically. I need to upgrade it. So the other one that I got was this L90 Ojo Chico. And oh my God, I've had my eye on this for a long time. It's been in pair for a while, which I'm really surprised about. It's a panake, a panak, however you say that. It's a phenomenal fish and it's around about six inches. The trails on its tail are beautiful. I've not got the best footage here, but what I'll do is I'll attach a picture of it, the actual fish that was in pair aquatics. I've took the picture from their web website and they only had this one in. So anyway, guys, we're going to wrap this video up now. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Bit of a mishmash. One minute we're in the fish room, next minute we're at pay, but I just thought I'd put it all in one video, and I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you very, very much for all the support, guys. It always, always means so much. So I appreciate anybody that subscribed to the channel. I also appreciate anybody that interacts with me, however that be, through likes, shares. Even when you message me, guys, Honestly, I love doing this on YouTube. So if you are watching my stuff or you're, you're new to this chat, you're new to this video, please consider subscribing. It's, it's, it's your, your choice, but it is really, to, really easy to do. All you've got to do is press 
the subscribe button, ping the bell for notifications, and that just lets you know when I'm uploading new material. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there, so I will see you all on the next one. <laughs>